John Ozzy here of Dusty Capital. Good evening. We're looking at the account of Loefla, one of our traders on the Funded Trader program. Um, this trader has been with us from the 5th of November 2020 up until the current present day of the 11th of Feb 2021. This trader has had a unique journey and we can see from the equity curve, this trader has had a big drawdown 2.62% another drawdown 3.8% but what we have to understand this trader's journey has been very interesting because this trader's hit drawdowns of negative territory one two three three key times and these three key levels the traders bounce back up down again up again until the trader broke the psychological barrier of four percent three point three percent came back down to one point three six percent and eventually the trader went up an upswing till the trader hit 10% on the 15th of January 2021. So this trader has maintained a daily percentage rate of 0.10%, just under a percent gain on a daily basis, which is not bad. A monthly gain of 3.4% and a drawdown 5.4%. This trader has had 243 trades altogether. When you normally see a trader with a low daily turnover of 0.10 percent and you the traders had x amount of trades you can tell that the traders had quite a few pairs traded altogether where the balance has fluctuated up and down but nevertheless the profit target has always hit the bank the accounts always been maintained and let's see how this traders maintain the balance what pairs help this trader as we always see in previous videos, we go down to the trade summary. And as we see, this trader has been very busy with ver various pairs. And when I see a trader trading all these pairs, I normally call it finding your rhythm. Traders are trying to see what works for them and what doesn't work for them. But as an analyst now, I'm looking at this from a bird's eye view. I can tell you this trader's most successful gains have been on the pound JPY. The pound JPY has been a very good instrument for this trader and as you can see on the long side this traders made 336 pips we gave us a total of 788.67 on the sell side this traders done what lost so the trader is more dominant on the buy side than on the sell side and the trader ended up with a total of 770 38 pips which isn't bad that's like profit on the long minus a short to give us a grand total but when we look at the euro us dollar this trade has been dominant as well because on the buy side 117 pips followed by 294.75 followed by 3125 on the sell side gave us a total of 596 so 596 and 770 has given the trader what basically 1200 these two pairs euro us dollar and pound yen has actually put this trader in the winning on the winning mindset but everything else was just diversification and eventually the trader hit the target of 10%. So what we've observed with most of our traders, they normally have two or three pairs that their bread and butter, their arsenal, that gives them the solid pips. Then they use the other pairs for diversification because diversification now helps our traders in getting the results. And as you can see these results now, they speak for themselves so if we look at the last few trades now let's have a look we got 0.25 percent consistent lot size going to the next page what do we see same thing going to the third page as well we can see 0.25 so this trade is very consistent with the lot sizes and the consistent lot sizes help a lot in terms of profit as you see pips profit so this is not a bad p l and this trader is going to be very successful if the trader this trader can be very consistent with the gains so this is not a bad p l statement and as you can see january 3.8 percent going back to 2020 <coughs> 5.95 percent and november 0.05 percent not bad <clears throat> very good and a very decent effort 
So what can I say and what can I recommend? I can re recommend a quite a few things. First of all, try and limit your pairs to a few. Be a master of a few than a master of many. Clearly, the pairs that you've traded the most, the Australian dollar yen, euro yen, pound AUD, pound yen. Let these four pairs be your, your set pairs and try and just focus on these four pairs. What you get to understand is you get more consistency and you get more value for pips. Recognize the patterns that you're trading with these four pairs. Patiently wait for your setup. Incorporate good money management techniques with a low risk, high reward trade, maybe trading two to one, three to one, or two and a half to one. Always be disciplined and maintain your trading plan. Never over trade. Keep your consistent lot sizes and much more importantly, enjoy the journey of being a trader. That's it. It's just that simple because when you enjoy the journey, it's going to be much more successful. When you have a routine, a routine will bring results. Results bring uh, a result of discipline and discipline and consistency will help you hit your 10% target. So very well done for hitting your first 10% and getting to $30,000. And we can see you got in profit by 1,504. 57 and if we look at your present day you're actually in the market at present and you can see you just got a few trades open 0 0.05 just a little small trades but let's see the open levels you can see 0.51 so you actually got two trades going on for you right now so i wish you all the best and i know you can be a successful trader so please take my recommendations on board and everybody as i always say Trading is not about being right or wrong, it's all about pips. And it's not just about the pips, you can be right or wrong and also end up being profitable as well. And as you can see from the advanced statistics at the bottom, 243 trades, 123 out of these 243 were lost, there were one which represents 51%, lost 120 out of 243 which represents 49%. So overall, if we take the average of winning and losing, there's a 2% differential margin here of error, which can be improved. So basically, you've, you've, won a, you've won half and you lost half, but overall you're in profit. And that complements the theory I just said. You can be right or wrong and still end up being in profit. So guys, that's a very good video and a very good example. And I hope you guys see this as motivation. And as you can see the equity curve from zero, you see, we can actually see the drawdown in light. Minus 375, minus 325, minus 312. Remember 1500 is the maximum cap. 495 profit, 419 profit in total, 453, 203, 889, 847, and 1505. Not bad, right? Very well done, and I wish this trader all the best.